In spite of several recent innovations in cataract surgery, the manipulation of the small pupil can present some problems. Poor visualization and additional manipulation increases the risk of complications during and after the operation. Surgical algorithm in the presence of the small pupil includes synechial lysis and separation of adhesions between the lens capsule and the iris, bimanual mechanical pupil stretching in one or two opposite meridians, removal of the fibrotic tissue located on the posterior surface of the iris. We prefer to perform membrane peeling with the forceps. This membrane significantly restricts iris reaction. In small pupil cases, the use of the highly viscous pseudoplastic ophthalmic viscosurgical devices is mandatory. They are very helpful in deepening of the anterior chamber and achieving viscomadriasis. Failure of the above-mentioned method led us to the use of the Dijuan hooks. These hooks of soft and flexible nylon are introduced after four symmetrical incisions. We catch the pupillary margin and then its retraction is carefully forced toward the iris periphery, where it will be fixated with the help of the hooks adjusting silicone sleeve. To reduce the amount of the incisions and subsequent inflammatory response, some surgeons prefer to use the hooks in the triangular pattern. Occasionally, slight bleeding can be observed at the stretching site. Among the most common complications of small pupil cataract surgery are microhyphemas, increase in inflammation of the anterior segment, and ocular hypertension observed during the early postoperative period. The main cause of these complications is the breakdown of the blood aqueous barrier, which is demonstrated by the fluorescent angiography of the patient after the phaco and lens implantation with the hooks. In Fyodorov Eye Microsurgery Clinic in Moscow, we designed a new square, ring-shaped, temporary implant with four circular loops that hold the iris at equidistant points. The loops of the device hold the iris securely and automatically. The result is a square, well-dilated pupil that allows for safe and comfortable maneuvers. The device provides a stable madriasis with no trauma to the iris tissue and no need for additional paracentesis. Evidence of the neutral impact of the ring on the iris tissue comes from a study which involved 20 cadaver eyes. Scanning electronic microscopy showed that the new instrument caused less damage to the pigmented iris tissue than by conventional iris retractors. The ring can be used either during conventional or by manual phaco. The insertion is carried out through the main incision or paracentesis with the help of a Sinsky hook. The pupil expander is positioned centrally and gently pushed at each angle to trap the iris in the four loops. The result is a finely dilated pupil and a good exposition of the anterior portion of the lens that facilitates subsequent manipulations. Even in patients with extremely atrophic iris tissue, the implantation and positioning of the ring is not difficult. In these cases, by manual technique of introduction of the iris tissue in the circular loops is very useful. The ring does not complicate the usual steps of the surgery. To open the capsule, one can use the bent needle or irrigating cystotone. During the capsular excess with the forceps, the ring remains nicely stable and does not restrict the movements of the surgeon. Secure iris fixation provides sufficient access to the nucleus. The surgeon can use any of the techniques of nucleus disassembly, including divide and conquer, fake a chop, pre-chop. Bimanual manipulations in the anterior chamber are not restricted by the ring and the iris remains stable throughout the procedure. And there is virtually no risk of the iris aspiration in the ultrasonic needle. Gentle fixation due to the unique design of the ring makes it particularly useful in cases with dense cataracts. The surgeon can work easily in the deep lens layers creating the trench or a bowl. During the cracking phase of vacuum emulsification procedure, when the vacuum is at high settings, the ring is very stable. Multiple rotations and chopping in hard cataracts are possible without disturbing the ring and the iris. During the irrigation aspiration, 
The position of the ring in the iris plane and the diameter of the pupil provide easy access to the equatorial cortical material. For IOL implantation, either injector or forceps technique is possible. The lens is easily passed through the pupil in the posterior chamber and then in the capsular back. Position of the trailing haptics is also easy. At the completion of the procedure, the ring can be removed through the same small incision. After filling the anterior chamber with viscoelastic, we cut the ring with venous scissors. Then it is grasped with the forceps and extracted from the eye. As the result, the pupil constricts spontaneously. And at the end of the procedure, we can see the fine round pupil. In summary, the new device proved to be safe and effective, provides stable madrasis, it has the advantage of easier and less traumatic implantation, needs no additional corneal incisions, and the learning curve is short. Our studies indicate that the new ring offers benefits to cataract patients with pharmacologically induced iris muscle atrophy, such as floppy iris syndrome. This is the Russian solution to the small pupil fake. Thank you for your attention.